Hello, all. It is Miss Olivia from C4 coming to you live from Southington, Connecticut. Happy Steam Week! I'm so excited for today. The E in Steam stands for Engineering. Today, we're going to be doing an activity called the Da Vinci Bridge. A little bit of background. So, 500 years ago, there lived a genius named Leonardo da Vinci. Have you ever heard of Mona Lisa or The Last Supper, those famous paintings? He painted those. He also knew a lot of different things about math and science and inventing and sculpting. He was pretty much a genius. He, 500 years ago, created this idea of a self-supporting bridge, meaning that it used the a certain kind of physics concepts such as force and center of gravity to hold itself up. So a long, long time ago, he created a bridge that people could walk over. But today we're gonna be doing it on a smaller size scale using pencils and rubber bands. So let's get right to it. I have the materials, the directions, and a tutorial on how to do it. So I'm so excited to show all of you. Let's get to it. All right, so as far as materials go for this project, you need 12 pencils and 32 rubber bands in a nice flat table or some sort of flat surface in order to build your bridge. I'm gonna show you guys these. So, all four of these pencils look the same. They all have one rubber band on the bottom and one on the top. So, take a total of four pencils and put one rubber band on the top and one on the bottom. That's for all these four. And then for the rest of them, these are eight pencils right here and all eight look just like this. You have one, one rubber band on the bottom, one in the middle, and one on the top. So, eight pencils should have three rubber bands on them, and four pencils should have two, just like this. So now we're going to take two of the pencils that have two elastic bands and put them like this. Parallel. Parallel. Yep. And then we're going to take one pencil with the three rubber bands and put it underneath right where the rubber bands are on this top. So you're going to put it underneath one and over the other one. And do the same exact thing on this side. So we're going to put it over this pencil, under this pencil, sorry, and over this one. So it just looks like that. Alrighty kiddos, now we're going to be taking another pencil with three rubber bands and we have to kind of maneuver it under here. So we're going to pick up this contraption by the pencil that's underneath the other two. Oh my goodness. You might need someone else to help you. Alright, so we're going to pick it up and slide it. Oh my goodness. Like so. We're gonna do the same on this side. Have another one and slide it. So all the rubber bands are touching. Dare we let go? Okay. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. Alexa. Alexa. All right. It's a little wobbly. It's really important for your rubber bands to match up because I did not do that and now I'm having trouble lining everything up. All right, so that looks good for now. All right, so next step, we're gonna take another pencil with two rubber bands and slide it under like so. Oh my goodness. Okay, we've got that. I'm going to slide it a little bit. Oh my God, okay, no, this is okay, we're okay. I'm going to pick it up again and slide this pencil in like this on that side and one again on this side. Okay, were both of those three rubber bands? Nope. So, so. Yeah, both of them are three rubber bands. Yes, both of them are the pencils with three rubber bands and the pencils going across this way are the, the ones with only two rubber oh, okay. bands. Okay? Alright. <laughs> We're going to 
take the last pencil with two rubber bands and put it on this side because I'm running out of table room. So we're gonna put it right under these two, line up the rubber bands, and then we're gonna take the last two with three rubber bands and do the same thing that we've been doing. My laundry. That's my laundry. Okay, so Emily, if you don't mind, um, actually I think it's good. Okay, so we're gonna pick it up like so and put this rubber band, this pencil with the rubber bands, just like we've been doing on the other side. Over here and line up your pencils and rubber bands. So, as you can see from my video, this project was an epic fail on my part. Um, I think what went wrong, the main thing was that when I was tying my pencils, I was not paying attention to where exactly I was tying them. Um, so, if you can see right here, these, line, these pencils are lined up, but all the elastics are kind of in different areas. Like, especially the top ones and the middle ones. Like, the blue one in the middle is way higher than this tan one. So when I went ahead and tried to line up my pencils to make this whole thing work, it was a little bit difficult because they weren't really lining up. I also think that this project is pretty difficult to do all by yourself, although not impossible. But if you do have a friend or a sibling or a parent, a guardian at home, definitely have them help you because four hands are better than two. Unfortunately, since my video was an epic fail, I will link a YouTube video on how to do this with the specific directions. Um, the end goal of this is you're supposed to be able to put um, some weight on this bridge and it won't fall. Um, like a book or a plate or a water bottle, you're supposed to be able to put it on top and it won't fall. Unfortunately, I was not able to do that, um, but I'm sure if you give it a try, you definitely can. So, um, although this project was really, really fun, me and my sister had some laughs, um, I do recommend to really pay attention to where exactly your rubber bands are on your pencils and have a friend or two help you. Um, overall, this project was really fun. I had a blast. Um, so I'm excited to hear if any of you get a chance to do this successfully. Um, take a picture of it and send it to your teachers and hopefully we'll get to see it. So good luck and have a great day everybody. Bye!